Greetings YouTube, greetings Facebook. Um, thought I would do this really quick video. Um, just wanted to kind of deal with a, a subject that was on my mind, and that was on my heart. Um, just kind of dealing with uh, things that have been highlighted and, and have been brought to the forefront in the last four years. Um, and you know, it's, it's really sad when you think about it, just thinking about the last four years. There are some awesome things that have happened, but I, d I didn't realize how deep some people were asleep until the last four years. Uh, it, it, how bad things are in this country until the last four years. Like I knew that they were bad. This, this, because a light was shown, uh, and I'm not making the light, you know, President Trump or anything like that. Um, I'm talking about, but because he was allowed to to get in, and uh, what 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 it boils down to is what got in was something foreign. Uh, to what had been in. Uh, he was not supposed to get in. You know, from the world system's perspective, he was not supposed to get in. Uh, that's just where, you know, you know my research has, uh, has landed me. Uh, there's a lot of guesswork out here and everything like that. I, I deal in facts. And I have paperwork that proves to me that they did not want him in or at least has evidence, that has evidence, that shows evidence that they did not want him in. Um, one of my biggest gripes with a lot of the modern, the modern truth, truth, truthers that are out here is, um, you know, a lot of them are no different than the people that aren't, that aren't, you know, awake to what's happening. They're, they're just no different. They have, they have a narrative and they're sticking to it and they're not, you know, being a truth is supposed to be about the truth. That means wherever the facts lead you, that's where you're supposed to go. That's where you're supposed to go. And yet you have some that are involved that don't have the slightest clue uh, of what's going on, don't have an idea at all of what's happening. Uh, they watch three YouTube videos <laughs> You know, and now they know everything that's going on in the world. There's a lot, a lot of the things that I'm, I, I share. It took me years to really figure out. It took me years to understand some of them. Uh, it took me years. There's some things that I thought I understood, and in the fifth year, I found that I had it wrong, and I had to kind of upgrade my thinking. Uh, but some of these people, I even got into an argument with one. Some of these people think you can watch a YouTube video and, 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 and you, you're gonna be straight. YouTube, and I, and I say this to this brother, I hope he's on here and I hope he comes across this video, I say still, YouTube is not research. Uh, it, it, it can be an aid to research if you're looking at the right things, but it is not in and of itself research. Bottom line, bottom line, you need to actually do some footwork. Uh, you can go long, you know, with YouTube, YouTubeism, if you want to, but at some point someone's gonna pull your card and you're not gonna know how to answer them because you're not gonna get enough information from watching YouTube. People, people who are gonna want uh, because you're telling them something that's unbelievable in many respects, so they're gonna want documentation. They're gonna want uh, to, for you to actually show them what you're talking about, and and that you can't just say, hey, watch this YouTube video. You know, the average, if they're a thinker, they're just gonna walk away and shake their heads. It's like, yeah, he got too much time on his hands or she got too much time on their hands. But anyway, that's not what I'm mainly talking about today. Today I want to kind of, again, um, just kind of shine a light um, or just kind of talk about, not shine a light, talk about the light that is, is, has been shown, shown in the last four years. And what I mean by that is because things have been brought out to the things were literally, we live in the, in the last four years, things were literally, it, it's, one, it's one of the most, it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. 
things that I had been talking about or been looking into behind the scenes were brought to the forefront right in front of people's faces. And I mean, right in front of them. I mean, it was laid in their lap, many of, much of it. And, and, and many of them, no, Trump, 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 Trump. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was the craziest uh, stuff I had ever, ever, ever seen. Like, 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 they were so consumed. They were so consumed with someone that was going to be in office for possibly eight years. Someone that had no record at all no verifiable proven record of being racist that had uh, a history of doing things with our people, positive things with our people. Um, but they wanted to take all these years, and I'm, I'm opted out. Anybody that knows me knows I'm opted out. I'm not in the political system. I talk about the political system because I want to help people understand the times. But I, I, I'm, I, I'm opted out. I, I'm, I'm not Democrat or Republican. But for the for these past four years, people have people have treated the man like he's he is the soul. Just he is the he is the Illuminati. Like he he is running. He got the power to snap his fingers and and put people in a trance. Practically, <laughs> you know, it, it is just funny, especially with my people. I'm not. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love you all, especially with my people. Of course, I'm black. You know, you know. It's just. I mean, they. I mean, they watching this man like, and they need to be watching people like Bill Gates and George Soros and. But no, Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> every, every every few minutes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, the man. I mean, the man's every every time you look up, if the man sneezed, you know what I'm saying. Um, that was a reason uh, for a news report. If he if he just sneezed, you, you know, uh, if he just if he if he turned his head and looked a certain way. <laughs> but now things are back to normal, right? If, if, if things go the way they're saying, supposedly, uh, we don't know yet because the election's not over. But but if they go, so people are saying, "Yay, things are going back to normal." And and these pe these same people, it, it's really sad to watch. I watch them on, on, on TV. First of all, they're on TV dancing and everything like that. And the election is not over. The media does not call an election. That, that that's just that that just does not happen. So you're dancing in the streets and pouring, uh, uh, you know, pouring out, you know, liquor or whatever you have, uh, and wine over something that's not done. It's not even done. That that's the first thing that's making you look, making us look just many of us, not all of us, making us just look crazy. Uh, you know, the second thing. The second thing that, that, that that's bad uh, is is this. You you're, I mean, let me let me show you how bad it is. I have a friend um, that I'm in a group with, an, an, an inbox group on Facebook. Why did she tell me she drove past one of her church, one one of these churches in her city, and it was, and it, it just had to be a black church. <laughs> Lord, Lord, and some of y'all gonna listen to this. Y'all gonna think I hate our people. I don't. I don't, I, our people got some issues though. Our people have some issues. Our people have some issues. Some of us really, we got some issues. That's, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. But this church had a sign up that said, we're free again. We are free again. Why? Because, apparently because Joe Biden is in office. And who is Joe Biden? Joe Biden is... <laughs> Joe Biden was the establishment candidate. Joe Biden 
is the elite's man. Like, like, there are arguments people can have about Donald Trump. It really is no argument. Like, again, when it comes to paper, when, when it comes to what can be proven on paper, he's not one of them. Now, people can get mad at me if they want to, but I got paper to prove what I'm saying. Oh, you can, you can throw up a, 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 a picture, you know what I'm saying, with him. Ooh, he's throwing up a sign. Signs are subjective. Signs, especially some of them we've used, and some of us ain't even in any kind of secret uh, orders or anything like that. Those kind of things are subjective. Is, can, you, can you show me membership in, in a secret society or a semi-secret organization. Uh, Joe Biden has a history of being cozy with the CFR and possibly at some point was a member. I believe he's possibly hid his membership. But he, I mean, the way he's cooperated with them, you know, uh, and has a history of promoting, from what I've seen, has a history of literally promoting the New World Order. Like, like I, I have a, a speech that I have archived or saved and PDF'd um, where someone had shared, well, I went to this, it was a Democratic site, uh, Democrats for, uh, against Agenda 2030, I believe, or Agenda 21. But these are Democrats. And they explain, the Democrats explain, look, this man is, I mean, apparently they see that he's an insider, and he is. Um, so you voted, you know, oh, happy, oh, ye happy people. You voted <laughs> for the Great Reset. You voted for Agenda 2030. You voted for the uh, Equality Act. That, now, especially you, some of you bit Christian leaders and everything that was that was thinking you did an awesome thing by voting for Joe Biden. You literally voted for someone that plans to mess with your religious liberty. Pat yourself on the back. You oh, oh you asleep wonders. And I say that with all due respect, because some of you should know better. You should absolutely know better uh, than to do what you did. And uh, so, so that's what you did. I just seen somebody. Um, but you have to understand something. There's some things that you, you have to understand. Uh, well, first of all, again, again, you voted for all of those things. This is someone that is not going to, uh, this is someone that's going to, you, you voted for, you voted for more monopoly capitalism or corporatism. That's what you voted for, which means he's not going to do really anything for real when it comes to prison reform. I mean, <laughs> That's going to hurt. Not not just going to hurt the private sector. I mean, is he going to do do away with private prisons? No, nope. He's not going to do that. Uh, so you might as well throw that out the window. You literally voted. You literally you literally said, you know, we, this this is not going to do for us. We want our slave masters back. <laughs> That's what you did. That's what you did. Uh, and it's really sad. It's really sad. And what's worse is in the four years that, we, that, that the president was in the office, uh, President Trump was in the office, things came out. Things came out. Like literally, I have to say, you know, and I, 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 was he a Christian? I don't believe he was. But he literally, in the years he was in office, tried to tell you that there were people running the government. He tried to tell, he, he literally told y'all. And now suddenly that, was a, that became a conspiracy theory. Uh, he tried to tell you that our system was rigged and now, oh, you can't trust it because it's him, <laughs> just one man <laughs> that, that we have to worry about. Uh, he, he, he tried to tell you, uh, he tried to tell, <laughs> there's a whole lot that he like put right out there, right in front of your faces, right in front of your faces. And and you just, you know, <laughs> no, we got to worry about him. <laughs> and these are the people on record, on record, that want to enslave you. On record. <laughs> on record. These are the people on record uh, that want to do 
all of these things to you. But, but no, 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 no. I mean, he even tried to get the, uh, the, the, the stuff out there about the Kennedy assassination. He tried to get that out there. Um, and, and, and people overlooked it. It, it was, it was amazing. Some, a president, a literal president on live television, I believe it was, got his head blown off. And, and, and anybody with thinking sense by this time in history knows that it was not Oswald who did that. If you look at someone from that, uh, where he supposedly did it, and you see the kind of gun he used, supposedly, it does not add up at all at all but uh someone is literally trying to and then the way it was you know before uh it, it was put out there someone from the cia who which was involved <laughs> with the assassination literally told him he said yeah you can't release that that'll damage our national security and suddenly he didn't release all of it right you do know that it was like like partially the cia that was involved in Mostly, actually. E. Howard Hunt, a big CIA man, admitted on his deathbed that, that, that they did it. That happened a few years ago. <laughs> but, 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 you know, not, oh, it's just a ploy. Our people, our people, it's a ploy. I'm not going to pay attention to that. The ploy is Trump, Trump. <laughs> um... And it, it's just, it's crazy. It is crazy. Right in your, right in your lap. Right in your lap. They put it there, right? He was putting it right in your lap. And you said, nope. 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 Great reset. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's what we want. <laughs> so here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Some people might be offended by this video, but this is, this is literally the stupidity I, I had to watch for the last four years. Stupidity. Didn't come from the man in the White House. It came from a lot of the people I, I, I've, I had to watch on social media, mostly our people. It really blew my mind. Really blew my mind. It was really sad to watch. Um, really sad to watch how misinformed how just in a coma many of our people are uh, and now they think that we've we've, we've, we've we've got something that we've advanced somehow you voted yourself you voted for one world government some of you if some of you are preachers and you voted for someone that's going to advance that agenda some of you some Someone told me one of the a preacher they know got up in the pulpit and said, "Oh, Biden has integrity." Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, by oh, uh, Biden rather, Biden is like in a his name shows up in a legal case overseas. He's on video camera before the Council on Foreign Relations boasting of getting someone in Ukraine fired and a and, and this bishop I know I'm not gonna say his name I was told that he got on on camera and said he has integrity when are y'all gonna wake up when are y'all gonna wake up but anyway let me get to what I'm gonna say what we're seeing in the country we don't have a we don't have a free market system. We have a cat. We have a monopoly capitalist system, and that's what we're seeing. That's what that's 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 the tension we're seeing, for the very most part. This is what I wanted to share. Uh, that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing, and this system is about eliminating competition, among other things. Famous monopoly capitalist John D. Rockefeller said competition is a sin. That's what, that's what he was supposed supposedly said. That competition is a sin. He didn't say that because he was worried about sin. He said that because he's a monopolist. He does not like competition. You see. And so, um, what happened? 
what, we, what we've seen happen is, is, is that. What do I mean? You know, the era of fake news. The news media made, uh, made the term fake news up, not Donald Trump. Donald Trump took it from the news media and made them sorry for using it, basically. That's basically, for the long, for the, make, make a long story short, it, it, it may not have exactly been just like that, but it basically was that. And so, uh, that, that, what was that? that was, that's monopoly capitalism in, 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 uh, in action. What, what do I mean? Uh, well, what we have in this country is big oil, big pharma, and guess what else we have? Big media. Big media. Big media is the mainstream media or corporate media, you see. And that's controlled by about five, maybe six corporations. There's, there's banks that are involved. When you look at, you know, um, like who's like has stock and everything like that, from my understanding. And then when you look at the semi-secret organizations that are involved, Many of them have high concentration, uh, in key points anyway, uh, um, of being involved in media, okay? Okay? And so, what the big, uh, the big media is concerned about, what big media is concerned about, they're not concerned about fake news. <laughs> A lot of what they're doing is fake news, you know? It's propaganda, at least. Um, they're not concerned about fake news. Fake news is, is being used as a pretext to eliminate competition, which is alternative media. Alternative media has become competition to the point where certain alternative media pundits have called the mainstream media the dinosaur media because their 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 um, ratings and everything are not what they used to be. Even Bill O'Reilly said that the news, the mainstream news media is waning in their influence because many people, many have woke up. Many have woke up and are not watching that garbage. Some of you that think that this is a Donald Trump thing and oh, they, they started, they didn't start saying that until you got it. I'm not, and I'm not trying to be rude, but they didn't start saying that until Donald Trump got in office. They've been saying it. <laughs> They've been saying it. Uh, there was there were books that came out in the 80s about the about the mainstream media and propaganda and stuff like that. Um, you know, Aldous Huxley was saying in the 60s, I believe, that the that the media is controlled. Hold on, it's controlled by the power elite in this country. Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley, who came basically from a, a well-to-do family, an elitist family himself. And well-to-do doesn't automatically mean elite, uh, in the sense of the, the ruling elite. Um, but he was, he was part of the system, basically. Um, then you have Thomas Jefferson talking about the media. I mean, the Worldwide Media Trust, or whatever you want to call it, or or the genesis of big media, let me say it like that. That began like in the 1800s when the Rothschilds uh, reportedly purchased Reuters. So if you're just now thinking that media is a problem, you're telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself. Um, but anyway, anyway, then we also have Big Pharma. But, you know, well, who's Big Pharma at war with? Big Pharma is at war with all other medical practices that fall outside of allopathy, of the allopathic method. So, or that fall outside of the narrative that they want. Ain't it? So, what did you see, especially during the era of COVID? It's what we say. Everybody else is involved in quackery. And if you study the history of the word quackery or quacks, that's, not, that's old. That's old. But there's a monopoly when it comes to the medical system. Research it. 
I, I know, I know, for those of you, I'm not talking about all those that are following me that are awake, but for those of you that, you know, you know, I gotta watch it because, you know, I was warned, Don Lemon and all them said that, you know, I, good old Donnie t told us <laughs> that, you know, we gotta watch who we listen to, Roland Martin. Boy, I, these are bastions of truth. They trying to give us truth. <laughs> They said we gotta watch who we listen to. Are, are they are they are they medical experts? Are they? <laughs> but you don't realize you being hoodwinked, and you would know it if you picked up if you took time to shut that stupid dummy box off and actually pick up pick up a book and read it. And not what just what you've been told. It's okay for you to read. So that's what's been going on. And some of you fell for it. Some of you are just as controlled as you can be. I mean, it's sad. You you might as well put some chains on and say yes, master. You might you might as well. You might as well do that. You might as well do it. Big oil is a bygone conclusion. That, that, that's locked up. I mean, unless someone, I mean, I think Donald Trump may have been trying to do something there. Um, but, you know, I'm not totally sure. But that's what's, that's what, that's what's really going on with those things. That's what's going on. Facebook does not care about fake news. They don't care about fake news. It's not about that. The whole fake news thing was a pretext to go to war and to shut down alternative media and relegate them to, at best, to relegate them to an echo chamber. That, that's what it was about. That's what it was about. That is what it was about. And when they start coming for alternative media, they came for the biggest one first. They, they came for Alex Jones. And you may not like Alex Jones, and I'm not here to defend Alex Jones, but I'm making a point. I'm making a point. They came for him first, and then, if you've been paying attention, they've, they've gotten rid of a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people aren't on YouTube. But see, big tech and big media are in cahoots. I literally put up an article the other day that showed it. There's a, a conference that they all go to called the Sun Valley Conference. It's like the Bilderberg Group of Media. So they're in cahoots. So what Big Tech is doing, from what we can ask, from what I can ascertain thus far, is that they're helping perpetuate the monopoly of big media. A lot of this stuff is deep rooted, it's old, and you can find out about it if you take time and do due diligence and actually do some research. But if you're going off of what just what you're seeing when you go home and turn on the TV, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. You're going to you're going to fall for this nonsense that's out here. You're going to think that we almost had Hitler in office, which was which is dumb. If Hitler was in office, then how is, how is the mainstream media turning him off in the middle of a speech? How is Twitter uh, 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 limiting what he's doing? The reason they're able to do that, because, you know, ultimately he's not running the show. That's basically what they're saying. They're basically running the show. So if you want to look at dictators, that's who you need to look at. See. You're not recognizing who's who's actually trying to control because you're looking for one man. That's not what what's happening. That has, that era has passed, basically. Basically, now ultimately, if you study the agenda of the new world order, they plan to have a a, a, a world leader, a world Christ. That's another video. Um. But right now, 
it, it, this is a group effort to build the new world order. So this is a group of people, and the group of the group of people are from the private sector. They're not even in politics, a lot of them. But they have people, agents, etc., for lack of a better way of saying it, that are in politics that they control. And guess who one of them is? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. And, and y'all just just got in the street, got in the streets and danced it up. Many of them. Not all of them. Not many of the ones on my channel probably didn't. Danced it up because he got in office. You know, some of you going to listen to this. I'm going to be a fool. I'm going to be all these other things. But give it about two years, two, maybe three years, if you're a Christian. Now, if you ain't a Christian, you may not see it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Or you might. You know. And the reason I'm saying that is because the first thing he said, the first thing he's going to go after the first hundred days, he's going to go, he's going to push this equality act. That's what he said. And so that's why I said if you're a Christian, because after that becomes a reality and people see what that is, if it becomes a reality, there are going to be some pastors that are going to be weeping if their heart is in a certain place because they help, they're going to, they're going to have to deal with the fact that it happened, it happened on their watch, and they helped it happen. They helped it. They helped advance an antichrist agenda. Yeah, it's that serious. So, there's a lot of emotions that went into this video. There was, there was, there was frustration. There was laughter, but the laughter was mixed with hurt because I, I'm hurt to see where our people are. I, I really am. I'm really, I'm really hurt. To see where our people are. Um, we as a people, not all of us, but we as a people are helping. I, I never thought I would, I never thought that this was what was, what was going to happen. We as a people are helping to create the new world order. Black folk. Black folk. And God help us if the Antichrist is black. <laughs> some, of the, some of our folk are going to put their Bibles down. Not all of them. Not all of them. But some of them are going to put their Bibles down. And, 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 and you're going to be hearing them say stuff like, I would, I would believe wrong all these years. You don't talk like this because you hate your people. You talk like this because you love them and you're hurt by what you're seeing. Hurt, not in the sense of offense, but hurt, just my heart hurts for our people because we so, many of us, not all of us, because thank God I know some ones that are awake, but many of us are so deceived. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. Have a blessed day.